Okay, so we're going to look at how to change the scale of the page now, um, the scale of your drawing. Now when selecting the scale, um, basically scale works on the principle that if it's a one-to-one -one scale, one millimetre equals one millimetre in real life. If it's a one-to-ten scale, one millimetre on your page equals ten millimetres in real life etc etc so to change a scale on auto sketch we need to get the drawing options screen up there's two ways to get that up you can go to tools and select drawing options quite easy just close that up the other way to do it is you see where it says control plus Q that's a shortcut to open drawing options so if you click on your page just so you cancel out of everything press control hold control and press Q, up comes drawing options. So that's a neat little shortcut to get that up. Okay, you'll notice that um, I'm already selected on scale here. You may be on units at the moment, but select scale from the tab, and here's where we can change our scale. You'll notice that these are all um, imperial scales. If you scroll down, you'll see the metric scales down here, and that's what we're after. So make sure you don't select the imperial, because that's um, going to put it in feet and inches. So these ones here with the little semicolon in between, they're all metric. So I would suggest you um, have a look through. But the one that I think we'll go for is 1 in 10. And you'll see over here it says page 1 millimeter, actual is 10 millimeters. You can also make a custom scale here by just highlighting 10, changing it to 6.7 if you wanted to. So there's a whole range of things you can do. But um, for now, I think we'll just hold it on 110 and we'll click OK. So now you'll notice that your page has changed. Um, there's no more grey sort of lines anywhere. It looks as though it's white. But if you scroll on your mouse wheel, straight in you'll start to see the grid appear so the grid's still there it's just changed 10 times smaller so we've effectively changed the scale of our drawing um, to a 1 in 10 drawing the next thing we'll have a look at is changing um, different line styles and actually putting some lines in on our page and getting started with the drawing